Hello guys, today I'll be sharing five gears or tools that has significantly improved my efficiency as a CAD designer. First CAD gear is this laptop right here. So this is a Lenovo laptop and I learned about Lenovo from my classmates at the university actually, <laughs> when I was of course studying architecture. So at that time, you know, I researched it, uh, different models. Um, however, they were very expensive, right? But um, I was determined to find a more affordable Lenovo uh, that could help me, you know, do all of the architectural work at the university. So after, you know, some research, I found this laptop right here. Of course, I needed this laptop to, you know, run all of my architecture uh, programs such as AutoCAD, of course, uh, Revit, and more. Uh, so, however, um, if there was only one thing that I didn't like about this laptop was the battery, right? It didn't last as much as I expected it. That was one minor thing because this laptop was very powerful. Of course, um, this investment that I did in my school uh, it was a great investment because after I graduated as, as an architect, as you can see right here, um, my degree, um, I keep using this laptop every day, right? It's a very convenient way uh, to have it again as a CAD designer. Um, so yeah, hopefully, you know, my story can help you decide um, to pick a good laptop. So yes, as a CAD designer, you definitely need a good mouse right that you can rely on so this year of course i'm glad uh, and i'm thankful for my uh, improved health at work but it hasn't always been this way in the past i experienced significant finger pain and of course for prolonged use of a mouse right so despite this pain of course i continue working you know because i have a family uh, with two kids that depend on myself. So I started, you know, feeling better when I switched to my left hand, right? Instead of my right hand to release some of that finger pain. Um, but after three months, um, just when it seems that my finger was healing, right? I encountered a new problem. Um, I wasn't productive after testing different mouse. Um, I found this one. Uh, this is a Logitech mouse, and, and it's an ergonomic mouse that, that allowed me to, of course, use my right hand again. But, of course, only after taking a couple of months to rest it. And I believe uh, it's because the mouse's design encourages clicking with the entire finger rather than just the tip of my finger. So, of course, after struggling with pain for a couple of years, I finally regained my professional productivity. Looking back to those bad years, I like to, of course, share my story um, so it can help other folks, maybe as you, so you can avoid this type of finger problems. So the third um, gear as a cat designer that I want to share with you is a desk, right? <laughs> this is so important and, you know, I wanted a different desk uh, some time ago because, you know, sitting all day was hurting my back. So I needed something that would let me sit or stand as I liked. So I look at various standing desks uh, and there was an electrical desk that was, you know, tempting me because, you know, it was easy to adjust, but it cost more money and of course it could break more easily. So then I decided for this manual desk that was cheaper and simpler uh, and of course making it stronger and less likely to have issues. One of the main reasons why I bought this standing desk was because I was having back problems, right? So sitting for so many hours, uh, you know, first at the architecture office where I work and then going to school again for so many hours so again I decided for this standing desk and now you know sometimes you have to put into balance right uh, simplicity durability is that more important for you than 
you know, fancy features. And of course, it gives me the flexibility, right, to be standing up like right now, right here, or uh, whenever I decide, I can also sit, right? <laughs> so yeah, a chair, right? <laughs> so and the story with my chair is that after spending, you know, $150 on chairs every year, I decided to invest in a better chair that would last me longer. So, and then I discovered this chair, you know, by accident again. <laughs> One day when I sat in a chair at the architectural office where I work, and then I loved it and, you know, checked about the brand, but it was quite expensive. And, you know, after doing some research, I realized that if this chair could last me 10 years, which again, it's been already two years, um, then it would pay for itself, right? <laughs> so again, although it was a significant upfront cost, I've been comfortable sitting in this chair for more than two years already, and I still believed I made the right decision. So here's the chair again that I use. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah. The number five cut year or two that I can recommend is a laser. Yes. And this laser or measurement laser, I discovered this tool uh, while working as an architectural designer. And I try other affordable brands, but once I used this laser at my job, I knew I had to get one for myself and I did. So, you know, it's precision, speed and durability were some of the features that motivated me to invest on this measurement laser. And to this day, I'm still happy with it. So you can see right here, uh, that's the laser. Um, the brand is Leica. Um, and having a, a nice technology like this, where you can uh, get measurements of everything really quick and precisely, you need to have that that option right 